I'm Matt Guff. You're in the house snowboard shop, and this is the Burton Blunt, and you can spark it up in the park with this thing. The technology and the materials that go into this are the top of the line compared to other boards, baseline snowboards. It's part of the Green Mountain Project, which means the base, the core, the top sheet, and the sidewalls come from recycled material. So if you're looking to buy a snowboard and you want to advance your skills in the park or in the parking lot, this could be the board for you. Um, it does have a, a fill rating of a three, so it's gonna be a little bit softer and it does have the V-Rocker technology. It has continuous rocker throughout the board. It has V-Rocker in the middle, it has a rocker tip, it has a rocker tail, and underneath the bindings, it has frostbite edges. Edges that actually stick out and extend just a little bit from the board. It is a twin-shaped board with a twin-shaped flex, which is phenomenal. Uh, the core is the traditional Burton fly core. It's laminar wood from tip to tail that is a hard and soft wood blend with a negative profile. The negative profile core is thin or excuse me thicker in the middle and gradually tapers off towards the nose and the tail. It saves material and it is very very fun. It's playful. You can load up and uh, basically Flex out the tail with a lot of energy if you'd like to. So when you when you want a, a nice high ollie, if you want a nice solid smooth press, the negative profile core is going to help you do that. It has biax fiberglass. The fiberglass runs in two different directions, at 90 degrees and at zero degrees. And there is a low maintenance extruded base that is extremely fast. And look at this extruded base. Look at all those colors pop. Look at those die cuts. Burton, that's what that says. It says it loud with extruded base. Like I said before, it does have the frostbite edges only under the bindings on the toe edge and on the heel edge. Other than that, it does have the rail ready edge system. The rail ready edges are already beveled. You won't have to grind down these things so they're round or pull them out because you're so badass. Um, you can still ride this board on rails with sharp edges that are beveled because they've already become beveled out of the factory. It does have the indestructible 1040 slant wall. See that? Slant walls that are 1040 are pretty much bomb proof and that's why they put them in this jib specific and park specific <laughs> board. You hear that? Now, the board also has a lot of other cool little features. It has the pro tip that works well with the negative profile core. The pro tip gradually tapers all the material inside the board on the tip and the tail to reduce the swing, weight, and uh, to give it a nice clean shape. It also has jumper cables, which are carbon strings that are ultralight that add a lot of pop from underneath the binding to the tips and the tails of the board. Um, it also has cruise control. Cruise control um, gives the board a, a natural mellow flex and it gradually mellows off the edges on the contact points um, because the nose and the tail are going to be a little bit more convex. Uh, the art, the rad art, was done by an artist named Megs. You can go to houseofmegs.com to check out more work and check out this board. You can go to the house.com. This is the Burton Blunt. More slash for less clash with the Burton.